So another question I commonly get is, what is the average reading speed? And there's, this is not one single number. It's actually a little bit of a range, and it depends on various factors. So I want to go into a little bit of detail about that, because a lot of people aren't clear. So uh, average reading speed runs 150 to 250, but that's for adults. Um, it doesn't take into account education level. Uh, so 150 to 250 words per minute for the general adult population. If you took into account the education level, like college educated, it's a little bit higher. It's in the range of 200 to 300. And this is a bell curve. If you've studied statistics, 80% of the people generally fall into that range. And of course, 20% are either above average or below average. And if they're below average, it could be because maybe English is not their native language and they've just started speaking it and learning it a number of years ago. And some people are above average for various reasons. Maybe they've taken a speed reading course in the past, or maybe they've just adapted to faster reading. Some people have a natural knack for it. Um, I also want you to know that the average reading speed is based on um, other factors, like uh, how difficult is the material to read. Those numbers I've been throwing around, the 150 to 250 or 200 to 300 for college educated, those are based on a certain type of difficulty level. And that would be considered medium level. It means not too easy, not too hard. It's not Dr. Seuss, you know, and it's also not advanced level physics. So. Things that you might be reading uh, just casually, maybe on the internet, could be blog posts. Those, anything that you feel like is not too hard or not too easy is kind of in that range. And your reading speed, don't think of your speed as one number. It's more like a range. Sometimes you're going faster, the material's easy, or you're familiar with it. Sometimes you're going slower if it's technical, or if it's very, very important, or you got a, maybe a test. So what if you're able to get that average speed up? If you're somewhere in that average reading range, let's say you're about 200 words per minute, uh, what if you could get that up to 400? And it's definitely something that doesn't take too much work to accomplish. It takes some work and practice, uh, but if you can do that, how much time are you saving? I mean, if you're reading 20 hours a week and you double your speed, I mean, now that 20 hours is dropping down to 10. And that means 10 extra hours now for whatever you, whatever you decide that's going to be. Maybe it's 10 more hours of getting more reading done. Maybe it's 10 more hours of sleep every week. And I mean, if you combine this over the course of a year, it's tons and tons of time that you're going to end up saving yourself. So don't underestimate the value of being able to read a lot faster. I mean, if you're doubling it up, how much time that's saving for you and how much your productivity is going to increase from those added gains in speed. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you want to continue uh, learning more about this and go into more depth on learning to increase your reading speed, what I want you to do is uh, click on the link related to this video. It might be in the description above or below. Uh, we're posting this in a few different areas on uh, social media as far as YouTube, Twitter, and so forth. So wherever that link happens to be, here's what you'll get. You'll get access to a free speed reading fundamentals course. That's going to get you started if you haven't already started learning. We have a lot more advanced courses you can check out on our website, irisreading.com. But check out the link if you're just getting started, the link related to this video. That'll get you started for free, and we're doing this specifically for people that have actually taken the time out to watch this particular video. Thank you so much.